The USMAT just can't catch a damn break as of late, let's be honest. We started off this damn summer fantastically. We beat Mexico in the CNL. We took that hard order home. I said, okay, damn, we're looking good. We're looking okay. Can this be real? We go back to back. We beat Mexico again in the Gold Cup for another hardware. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling confident, man. Like we're set, we're solid. We have a solid team. Berhalter's looking good, has this team gelling. And then we fast forward up to the World Cup qualifiers and we stunk up the joint. Obviously we closed off with a fantastic dub over Honduras with that 4-1 uh, victory. But before that, we had a 1-1 tie against Canada, who in my opinion uh, is not the best or toughest team in the CONCACAF. And don't even get me started with El Salvador. Okay, I'm not going to bash on El Salvador. They, they're okay. They're not the push arounds that they were once before. Hugo Perez has that team uh, believing and playing. And they obviously felt themselves versus us. They pummeled our ass. Obviously, it didn't show in the uh, in the score sheet. But, I mean, they came out and they, they put their fists up and we walked away with the 0-0 draw. And now I have another storyline for you guys here. The USMNT has fallen three slots, three spots down in the latest FIFA rankings. If you were living under a rock the past couple weeks slash half a month, the US was actually up in the top 10 of the FIFA ranking. They actually moved up a lot and they were they were ranked 10. But after this shitty, shitty showing by them, they're obviously now at 13th spot, which in my opinion is not bad. I mean, obviously we're, we're still up there in the top 15 countries of the world, I guess. But who the hell doesn't want to be in the top 10? I mean, I would want to be in the top 10. The top 10 is better than top 15. Shit, if you could be in the top five, that's even better. I'll be honest, it's not a big deal. As long as the US comes out and they take care of business against Jamaica, Panama, and Costa Rica, I believe, this upcoming World Cup qualifier window, then I think we can definitely see ourselves in that top 10 again. But that's only if we handle business. I'll be honest, guys. I'll be honest. I think we definitely deserve this. I'm a big US fan, but I'm a big US honest fan. Okay, I'm very honest. And I think, obviously, after not handling business against some... Uh, not so tough teams, not so tough opponents, aka El Salvador, aka maybe Canada here. You know, we should have beat them at least 2-1 or 1-0. I think we definitely deserve it. You know, it is it is what it is. We made the bed, now we gotta lay in it. But uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. I really don't care about the ranking, to be honest. I care more about us getting those nine points that are coming up against our World Cup qualifier opponents. As long as we get that, then I'm set. I really don't care about the rest, but I just thought I'd share this with you guys since, you know, this is a US MNT channel and uh, I basically break down the news for you guys. So yeah, the US dropped three spots from 10 to 13 in the latest FIFA rankings. Check it out. It's out there. It is what it is, guys. I'll see you guys next time.